In Don't Be Greedy News, submitted by Lyrica from Melbourne. You're playing with your nose? I didn't know that was yeah. possible, bro. You never seen Filthy Frank do it? I watched him do it. That's so disgusting. And now you're gonna put it in your fucking mouth? No. Do it, do it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Asian shoppers are buying up all the baby formula in Melbourne to resell for a profit. And that is the most Asianist thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. You know what? My friend actually made a good amount of money in the black market baby supply international <laughs> smuggling ring. Really? But he was he was explaining to me that um, so in China, Chinese people don't even trust their own products. Oh, that's, that's or their own air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so they there's a lot of millionaires out there. Uh, there's like what two million millionaires or something like that. There's a ton because I mean there's billions of people, right? And they don't want to risk it. They don't want to give their kids like shitty products yeah. and lead baby formula or whatever. <laughs> so they trust uh, you know Western products because they trust the black market. To get the proper stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, More they, than they, their they, own they, country. They, they, they trust. Yeah, they trust it. So, you know, there's a limit and there's a cap to like how much they can bring or whatever. So there's a there's a smuggling ring that they just purchase retail price, uh, like Western baby products, baby food, formula, all that stuff. I'd rather go on the dark net except for Costco. They sell it for insane amounts out there. That's funny because yeah. like when I was younger too, Korean people were like that too. So my parents would actually send like. Like fucking basic ass vitamins out because they would like Centrum. You can't get Centrum. Yes, yeah, what I'm saying. <laughs> the most basic of vitamins is really messed up. And a pre to send me Princeton vitamin now, <laughs> you know. And I'm getting into the silver Centrum. <laughs> I'd be really f there. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a serious wow. money maker. Wow. It's a pretty big industry. Even here though, they have to like lock up formula and shit. Oh, because people would uh, sell that. Sh oh, I don't. Know. I don't know if they sell it. I think they're just jacking it. But I guess it's like a fucking hot commodity. Yeah. So. It's kind of sad. Yeah. That made me feel a little sad. You get caught like sending over drugs or something. Yeah. So you go to prison for that, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I sent some mean drugs over there, but some infamil." <laughs> oh. Yeah. Kick your ass for that. There's this video clip of these Asian shoppers in Melbourne where they just taking all the baby formula because apparently there's like a shortage going on because of this. In China? Uh, no, in, in oh. Australia. Oh, because all the Chinese people are selling it and yeah. sending it back to their Chinese exactly. families? Yeah. So because of that reason now, like, just the, the people that actually need the formula are really upset because then they're driving up prices and oh, there's also a shortage sucks. for people who actually need the milk. Fucking Chinese people ruin everything. This is stirring up more racism. Now, I mean, for an Australian to hate you, <laughs> that's right. It's like almost as bad as a Canadian hating you. Yeah, yeah that's pretty bad. Right? Because they're, they're pretty bad. nice over there. They're yeah, and you're stealing the baby formula, and now they're all pissed at the Chinese and the... I'm surprised that Chinese people even buy baby formula. I think they would just give them like mung beans and roots and shit. <laughs> you know, because we believe in like all the, the Eastern medicine shit. Yeah. So I don't even, I didn't even think that formula would be in the, the topic of conversation. Yeah, well, here's the video clip here. And then, so you're gonna see, at this grocery store, it, they have all these, like a shortage of baby formula. So then they're bringing in this trolley that they're gonna restock it and all these Asian shoppers are just waiting there and then this woman oh she's just saying like it's wrong, like what you guys are doing is wrong. Hey. So they're cheating the system. Call them mainland Chinese. Okay, mainland Chinese. I don't wanna be associated with those people. <laughs> I'm a respectable human being. Oh my god. Is this over Envimo? That is crazy. Oh he's trying to take the camera away. Pathacy, you know? Pathacy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have my permission, right? You don't have my per permission, right? Why Why you can't take off? No, no, I understand, but they're just doing the rounds. They're going through checkout and coming back all over again. That is crazy! Four per customer. And they're just buying it and then going back. Oh my gosh, no, worse than cabbage patch dolls. They're <laughs> <laughs> like the Tickle Me Elmos. Yeah, tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> What the fuck? If it's no, 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 no. That sucks. Do they break the as, as I said, it's legal. Do we break the rule? I, I know. I know how to fix this. Oh how? man! You gotta go back to the titty. <laughs> oh, that's right. What happened to breastfeeding? Was having a breastfeeding. Well, yeah. for a lot of women, it's hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! A lot of women don't necessarily. They can't produce breast milk. 
And it's fucking, for some other women, it's fucking hard. That's true, and I'm glad I, I wasn't breastfed. That tries to rip off your tit when they drink the milk. That's yeah. mine. Or they won't even that's latch true. on. That's a, yeah. that's a big issue. Really? That means the child has to die. Really? Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. latch on. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, no, I, I had my emphema. My dad manufactured. I just spit all over myself. <laughs> I got excited about that. No. You manufactured? He manufactured, em em not breastfeeding, uh, Enfamil. He did? Uh, really? Yeah. Uh, for a laboratory oh, when I was no. growing up. So I, I got that. I didn't breastfeed. Your dad right, invented right. baby formula? He didn't invent it. Oh, okay. He helped manufacture it. Oh, Enfamil, yeah, back in the day. But it's I, so yeah. funny that a Chinese person is telling a white person about breaking the law and like privacy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. That shit doesn't make no sense to me. Hey, what hey, the, what hey, the hey, about hey. privacy and decency? Like, what the fuck, bro? Uh, <laughs> As you're fucking about. cheating the system. I know. As he's like pissing hey, into hey, a hey, bottle hey, and hey. throwing it over the fucking. Hey, I found this loophole. Can't get away from me. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. <laughs> Every Asian joke, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smile. I don't. Mm -hmm. Why can't you be decent? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, this not, I got the privacy, I got a human right, okay? Yeah. I've never heard a Chinese fob say that shit. That is pretty crazy. That's oh insane. My God. But yeah, they're cheating the system because they, they've implemented all these stores now. They've implemented like a limit per customer because of this. And they're, they're saying that. They're just coming back with a beard. <laughs> They got that fucking glass in the nose. Yeah, with the nose with the <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? My name is Bob. <laughs> I know, this is fucking funny, dude. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so, uh, do they know what they're using it for? Because I think they're reselling it in China. Of course. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure they don't have that many kids. <laughs> well, they're sending it to their family members in China. <laughs> maybe. Or, maybe. Mm, all right. My bad. Because what if, okay, what if they're like dirt, dirt poor and then they're sending it over there and that's like their village's whole entire month's income? Or what if they're turning a profit and then... They, they are, they are. Yeah. They're making a lot of money on it. I think like each of, that. yeah, they, they, they could probably sell it for hundreds of dollars. That's fucking annoying. Because they're really selling it to millionaires and billionaires that basically Money's not an issue for them. They just want good quality, mm -hmm. like products and safe products. So, all that, all that's going to them. Does that mean that there's no Amazon in China? Oh, there is. There is, right? It yeah. seems like it'd just be easier just to buy Amazon online. in China. It's just Alibaba, isn't it? But I don't oh. think <laughs> like they, they could totally rebottle things. You know, they can buy the, yeah. you know, and I don't know. I, I, I just think there's just no trust in the system. I see. But what makes me wonder, like, what the hell, how come they can't is because, like, a lot of our products, like, from iPhones, all that, yeah, it, it's from China, right? And then there's quality control there, but baby stuff? I don't know, it's so weird. What if it comes from China? <laughs> they, it probably does yeah. come from China. Right? What the fuck? Like it's manufactured like in China. Like, everything I This is ours, yeah. to begin with. Yeah. I'm just buying it back. I'm pretty sure it does. Like everything Let's comes. Let's look that up. Who's got a computer? Oh, you do. <laughs> yeah. What did uh, babies do before formula when the mom couldn't? That's all. Uh, I, that's what I was about to ask. What the? They just have to latch on. It was found in. Eventually, <laughs> you just got. You got to do it. You yeah. have to do this. You have no choice. Well, I mean, it is kind of natural selection. Every time I watch a documentary, there is an open titted lady with a baby on it all oh, the time. Oh, Salma Hayek. Wait, what? She was uh -oh. like in a village and there was like a baby. No, there was a mother who could not lactate or there was a few. And so she became the donor tit. I believe that's the scientific term. Yeah, no. she, she breast <laughs> I don't think she it is. She breastfed a baby one. I don't know if she oh. did multiple. She breastfed another woman's baby. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. yeah? I mean, that I, happened? I, I did that once. That you what? Yeah, it was kind of odd, but I did it. Uh, yeah, that's odd. Yeah, it's like you're not my. Kid. You fed a baby? Yeah. Like that wasn't yours. But how do you know you have what it takes to? I mean, don't you have to? I mean, I know naturally you do, but doesn't? No, it, but there's a, there's even there, like back how, in the day there were wet nurses. When oh, that's what that specific is. Specific nurses to just nurse. Uh, how did that nurse. work? Did did they get nurse. did they get pregnant just so they could feed other? Kids? I don't think but it was just for just that. Never stop breastfeeding. Oh, cause oh, the after the way breast milk works, though, it's like as long I, as there's supply. Oh, I wanted to hear what he thought the process oh, was. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no. I'm not. What, yeah. Were, what, what were you gonna say? You interrupted me, Tiff. I don't know nothing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I wanted to hear what you thought. It never happens. Just the one time. No, I don't even remember. Okay, but <laughs> I, was, I was focused on listening to her. Yeah, yeah. Diet. Now you know how I feel yeah. every time. Every time so, you interrupt. So me. breast milk works like. <laughs> 
as long as there's a demand for it, there is a supply in that oh, kind yeah. of sense. So as long as something's sucking it and depleting its resources. Yeah. yeah, like if I wanted to, nine years after having Isaac, like till this day, I could still have breast. Are you serious? Yeah, there's women that still. As long as you continued to. Uh, as long as you're always the having the milk come out. Then. Oh wait, is wait, it wait. kind of like a cow? You know how a cow you gets milk, right? right? And so as long as you got that. Now milk, I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you got someone going like this, then the cow is going to keep producing milk. Yeah. So if you don't have a kid to suck on you, but if you just keep going like this every day, then you'll have a uh, continuous supply. So you just can't start out of the blue. No. You just can't go, hello? Yo, there was this dude yeah. in the high school yeah. that could lactate from his fucking- That's fucking disgusting. Yeah. He was in cross country. Let's cut this out. It was me. <laughs> Let's cut this part out. Was he on steroids? He was he was in cross country and then one day he was like, Yo, you wanna see something? Oh. And went like this. And then it didn't squirt out, but it was he lactated from his fucking shit. Wow. At least he's wow. proud of it. Shane, that's his name. I'm sorry, I had to say it. Shane. Did you give him did you give him a nickname? Were you one of those kids? No, because Lactate Shane. <laughs> Lactate Shane on you. Well I could I couldn't call him like Titty Shane, because I had titties, so he went fucking like Titty Shane. Titty Shane. Yeah, because he could probably roast me even harder. So I just left it alone. Mm. <laughs> Titty Shane. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of JK News. Make sure to stay connected because we're constantly updating our social media. So follow us at JK Films for Instagram and at JK Films for Twitter. To watch more videos, click right over here. <laughs>